Hi students, um, I'm back today to show you another app that I recommend for practicing your English at home. Um, I'm going to show you this app in the App Store and then I'm going to show you how to use the app. Um, this app is available on either an i device using iOS, the Apple phone, or through an Android device. Um, my device is Android, so I'll show you on the Google Play Store, but you can also find this app on the App Store. This app is called Rivet. This is R-I-V-E-T, Rivet. This is an app for reading, um, and this app is not specifically created for students who are learning English like we are. This app is actually intended for children. Even though this app is intended initially for children, there's still a lot of really good reading materials, um, high quality vocabulary that you can learn through practicing with this app. So let me get into my Google Play Store and I'm going to search for Rivet. It's R-I-V-E-T and it's the same name on the App Store through your iOS, your um, Apple device, or through the Android Play Market. Now myself, I've already installed this app, so I see the open button where you will see the install button. Um, let me open up this app, and actually this app is in landscape mode most of the time, um, so I'm going to click into it and then I might um, switch my video over to portrait, uh, from portrait to landscape. When I come into this app, it asks me if I want to make an account, and you absolutely can, but it's not necessary. So I'm going to actually click on here. Um, I'm going to click skip the sign in because right now I don't want to make an, an account. When I click skip sign in, it's going to bring me into the app, um, and all of these different pieces are books that I can open up and read. I can click and listen to them being read to me. Um, I can find different vocabulary. At the top of the app, you have the option of level. So you see right now it says level six. I'm gonna click on that level option and actually it gives me an option of level one, two, three, and you can see that the sentence in the blue box is changing in complexity. Level one, a very easy sentence. Level three, level four, five, all the way up to level eight, which are very complex, complicated paragraphs. Um, you can start anywhere that you'd like. You can use this app with your children so that you're practicing your English. Your children are also improving this English. You could help an older um, relative who's just starting with English to use this app. My students in my classroom, I recommend you start at a four or a five. It should be an easier level for us where you can still learn some new vocabulary. I'm gonna choose the level five and then I'm gonna click the green done button at the bottom. Across the top here where I'm scrolling, I have different categories. Um, you see categories like vehicle, sport, science, holiday, history, arts and crafts, animal. Um, the YouTube books are books created by YouTube um, channels. They're a little strange sometimes. If you're thinking about citizenship um, or even just you want a good nonfiction book, let me click on history. And now down across the bottom, I'm going to be scrolling to look for my um, book that I want to read. All about the Colosseum. This is an ancient uh, Roman play, a Roman um, structure in Italy. The Statue of Liberty. Something very interesting to learn about if you're studying for um, citizenship. Jackie Robinson, who was the first African-American baseball player in the United States. Um, Actress Jennifer Lawrence, um, Cinco de Mayo, Oregon Trail, um, something fantastic, fantasy about Pegasus, the United States flag, um, a nonfiction book about China. Let me click into the nonfiction book about China. Right now, 
I also have the opportunity at the bottom of my screen, I can click um, to zoom in on the picture. I can click forward or backward in my book. I can also just swipe to turn the page of my book. So let me show you each of these. I want to zoom. I can also zoom by pinching, where I take my finger and I widen or close my fingertips against the screen. I pinch. I click my forward. I click my backward. Now, this is a really small, this is a really small um, text. I can zoom my text to be a little bit larger. Um, right now, I'm going to pause my video. I paused my video so that I could, I could flip my screen from portrait, which is the up and down direction, to what's called landscape, which is the sideways direction of your phone. This allows me to zoom in and have a nicer reading screen. Um, it doesn't do beautiful things for my photograph over here. It makes me all wonky. It makes me all stretched and awkward. But now I can see my, my vocabulary, my words a lot nicer. So I'm reading my sentence, um, China is a country in Asia. It is also called the people's, and I see this word, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. If I click the word, Republic. It reads it for me. If I click on this Republic. Um, little atom image Tap that the pops up, button and say the word. it allows me to speak the word and it will analyze my pronunciation. Republic. Tap the orange button to try again. Republic. Tap anywhere to close. Yeah. It doesn't like my pronunciation because of the fact that I'm using the microphone for my video recording. Republic. It gives me my definition. A country with elected representatives, an elected chief of state who is not a monarch, who is usually a president. This is the meaning of republic. Um, I continue to read through a new vocabulary word. Um, I know this word, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Billion. Billion. Inventions. Influence. Influence. People. China. Peoples. Okay. Um, I turn my page forward. Page forward. Really, really nice vocabulary. A lot of different information. Um, I'm going to switch my phone back out of landscape mode. So just give me a second. Hopefully I've been successful and I've switched my video back into portrait mode. It's kind of funky switching back and forth from the landscape to the portrait. So when I want to leave my book, right now all I see are the zoom button and I see the forward and backward button. If I tap the screen anywhere, it gives me this home button at the top that I can click on and it takes me back to my home. Um, I am not interested in history, but I am interested in science. I can find myself a lot of, some of them, yes, this book is very much for children. However, you might still find some new vocabulary. For example, caterpillar, caterpillar, chewed, chewed, discovers, discovers, still really nice vocabulary. Um, vroom, vroom. This isn't a common word, but this is the word for the sound of the vehicle. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom. Um, I would... Wonders. Wonder. I wonder. So even though these are intended for children, they still have beautiful vocabulary. Um, I always tell you in class, how do you think children are learning vocabulary? They're learning vocabulary by all of the books that they're reading. Um, let me jump up to some level eight books. Um, I see a book called Yellow Jacket. Okay, I hate, I hate Yellow Jackets. But let me click in here to check out some vocabulary. Yellow Jacket is similar to a bee, except Yellow Jacket is the type that can sting you repeatedly, not just one time. Also, Yellow Jacket does not produce honey. I like bees. I tolerate bees, but I hate Yellow Jackets. Let me get through to my page. Um, Look at some of my chapters. More than a sting, yellow jacket everywhere, neat nests, social insect. Ah, oh, great vocabulary. When you think of yellow jackets, you might think of an aggressive, aggressive, aggressive wasp that is known sting. to sting. Really great vocabulary. Um, 
They are part of a very important group of creatures called scavengers. Scavengers. Really great, really great vocabulary, even though this is initially intended for a child. Um, if I want to create an account, the benefit of creating an account is that it will link my progress through multiple devices. So if I use one phone and I upgrade to another phone, it will keep my progress. Um, again, this app on the App Store is called Rivet. Rivet. Um, completely free. There's no advertisement. Um, sometimes you get a really nice app, but it's full of advertisements. This one is, so far, fingers crossed, completely free without advertisements. I strongly recommend this app for using as an adult learner or for using as an adult with your children to practice reading. All right, students, talk to you later. See you soon. I hope you like this app recommendation. Let me know in the comments what other type of app you're looking for. If there's a specific skill that you want to practice, um, check out the previous videos, which have included some pronunciation and some listening apps. And keep an eye out for future apps that are practicing reading, listening, and vocabulary. Bye, students.